What is up guys, Young Flame here. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going over what I want to see in the nightclub DLC. What I, what I know we're going to see, or think we're going to see, and when it's going to release. So anyways, as far as the release date goes, we'll get that out the way first. I think it's going to release July 17th, because that's two weeks from now, pretty much. And it's a Tuesday. I cannot see it getting released this coming up Tuesday. It would definitely have to be the next Tuesday. That's just my personal opinion. Alright. That's just me though. It could. It could. But I just don't see it happening for real. So, uh, yeah, I mean. That's definitely. September 17th is the release date I'm going for. Uh, but, yeah. So, after... In that, now that we got that out the way, pretty much, let's go into what I would like to see. So, I would like to see you, be, you being able to buy a nightclub. I want you to be able to customize, like, have a lot of customization options for it. Okay, that would be awesome. Customization options, for sure. I want you to be able to invite all your friends in there, or if they're in your CEO or something, have them be able to just walk in. Now... That's just little things, but for sure to make the clubs work right, I think that'd be cool either if they're in your motorcycle club or in your CEO. They could just walk in without having to do anything, you know what I mean? Like, you know, they could either choose to buzz the uh, place, like, you know, if someone else is inside of theirs and it's, it's the same, like, property. They they could go up to the door and either choose the buzz that one person just or just enter your CEO leaders. That would be kind of cool. I definitely that that's something I'd like to see in it. You know, that way it's not a hassle. I hope you have you can customize your music. Now I seen it was like with the DJs and everything going crazy. It was like a rave, but I hope you can make it like a more chill. Like you know what I mean. Like you could play some like rap and stuff in there. We don't really have much club rap, I mean, they would definitely have to add some or so, because I don't know what we could really, like, club rap, it's like that Ludacris, uh, or, I mean, Lil Jon song, Get Low, and, like, Usher, yeah, like, all that's good club music, you know, you could play Nelly, like, Na Na Na, I mean, there's a lot of cool club songs, but we don't really have nothing like that in GTA 5, um, so, I don't know, we'd have to figure that out, but even if it's not club music, it'd be cool to just play the music you like, like rapper, or so on. So, yeah, I definitely want to see a good uh, customization in music. I would like them also to do something to the yachts. Now, this has nothing to do with actual nightclubs, but, you know, if you're a nightclub owner and you have a yacht and all that, it'd be cool because, it, as you know, Rockstar hasn't done anything for the yachts since they released them. And honestly, I see so many yachts in the ocean, and they all pretty much look the same. That's the worst part. They all look the same. So, um, I would like to see some variations there, just because. You know what I mean? Like, I want yachts to look different, so maybe add more colors at least. You know, we need more colors for the yachts, I swear. All the colors are, like, alike in a way. You know what I mean? Like, a bunch of white and blue ones. You know what I mean? They're just the blues put in different places and stuff. Like, for the most part, all the yachts are just the same. And uh, the most people either go with the most expensive or the black and red one. So, I definitely want to see some customization with the yachts. Some, you know, and be able to customize the interior. The Rockstar put a cool interior inside the yachts. But, um, uh... Rockstar put a cool interior inside the yacht stock, you know, but I want to be able to change that and I want to be able to put a cooler interior in there pretty much, you know, customize, at least do colors and stuff like the penthouse and whatnot. Um, but yeah, like I said, so all of that good stuff and like I said, the nightclub and I want that to have good customization so it can be unique and all that. Like there's, you know what I mean, all that stuff. So I mean, uh, as far as cars, if I could have a wish list of cars that I want to see in this update. Um, I would definitely have to go with, uh, whew. okay, so I know we're getting the Toyota Supra, okay, so that, that's a given already, I do hope that they make it a Benny's vehicle, I can't make that on my wish list, um, whew, so Toyota Supra, okay, make that a Benny's car, that'll be cool, hopefully they make it quick, um, 
Alright, so that, I would like to see, uh, you know, maybe like, uh, an accurate NSX, like the old ones, I know we have a new one in the game, but, uh, maybe the old ones. And then, you know, RX-7, that's all the tuners. As far as muscle goes, eh, I guess, maybe a Hemikuda. I mean, look, there's more tuners, I don't want to go through the list and make this a wish list car video, because I can name about 40 cars, just off the top of my head, like, we already have a Skyline, we're getting a Super, but I have a wish list that it's a Benny's vehicle, but, uh, if not, it's alright, as long as it's fast and stuff. Um, so, all that, and, um, cool, I mean, RX-7's off the top of my head, maybe an RX-8, both of those are cool, uh, I'm not really a biggest fan of, like, 240SXs and stuff, but they're nice. I definitely want to see a second generation Eclipse in the game for tuners. Uh, and that's just off the top of my head, all those three. So that's like my main ones that I really care about. If they really wanted to, they could do what they did with the Comet and put a buff the uh, LG RH8 in the game. But call it something else, you know, like the... I don't know. But yeah, that would be kind of cool because we haven't got a new GTR in a long time. Well, we, we got the old R34, but we haven't actually got a GTR in a long time, so... Definitely if they could add that. Muscle cars, you know, Hemi Kuda would be cool off the top of my head. Give us a Hellcat, stuff like that. Uh, so anyways, though, not to make this into a car wishlist video, because that would just take up all the time. Uh, that was just some cars I wanted to see. And yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else. I mean, I guess, meh. Be able to have more activities, I guess, too. Like inside the uh, nightclub, you know, be able to dance. And maybe throw some activities in there, like a good bit of activities would be awesome. I, you know, activities are always cool in GTA. Maybe like, you know, add, add some more activities. I don't know. Inside the nightclub, do some cool activities. Definitely, this isn't gonna happen. But I guess I have to add this on my wish list because this is something that's probably a whole other DLC concept. But add mansions. I mean, they have done DLCs where they added like, you know, the penthouse and stuff in it, but. We haven't got a new house in like forever. So definitely mansions. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. I'd really like to see mansions. Mansions are just cool. Like, you know what I mean? If they had had mansions, they could put, you know, a mini, a bunch of mini games. You know, we could have a basketball court. We can have pool in it. Like we can do so much with a mansion. Like if they do it, they got to implement it right though. They can't just go, you know, half ass on it pretty much. They got to implement it right. But yeah, I mean, that's my wish list. A mansion would be awesome. You, like I said, you know, just going over everything. I said some cars that I wanted to see. Uh, definitely make sure the nightclubs implemented right with, uh, you know, your friends and what's not, so they can like come in and all that. Maybe, uh, you know, one more thing I want to throw in. Uh, whew, I'm trying to think. Maybe you know you can advertise your club. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, I know they're adding. Uh, hauler that you sell drugs out of or whatever i forget what it's called i think it's called the hauler but or no the haulers or anything i don't know anyways so they're adding that new thing um that you can sell drugs out of but maybe you could advertise your club you know and that's like the more money you make or something no we'll, we'll, we'll really have to see you know it's, it's something but definitely a lot of customization in the nightclub so it's different from everyone else's when you walk in um i know they're not going to be cheap so they could do that Re, you know, redo the yachts, not redo them, but just add a couple more options that you could do. That'd be cool. Just because the yacht doesn't really have enough right now. No interior customization on the yacht. Uh, you know, there's just not a lot. I mean, there's a couple lighting options, but there's only like five of them. You know, five colors. And then the yacht itself, there's not many colors. You know, it's just really, like, there's not much you could do. Like, they could do a lot more with the yacht, especially... That, since they're already so expensive, I mean, they should have done it from the rip, but I guess back then they didn't really care, but now they could go back and do it. Anyways, though, that's really it for the video. If you guys have, have anything else you would like to see in it, uh, let me know. I'd be more than happy to to show you guys, or to read your comments and see what you guys have. That'd be awesome, so just throw in the comments anything that you guys want to see. Because, you know, I do like seeing when my, you know, when my fans and stuff want to want to see themselves, you know, in the DLC. Uh, hopefully, one more thing I can, add, I guess I can add in. Uh, this, this is just kind of like, 
something about the cars because I'm a real big car person in GTA. I barely kill. I mostly make money, you know, buy stuff and drive around my cars that I like. So, uh, you know what I mean? I'm grinding businesses right now. As you see, I know I'm like 101 million, but that's from grinding. You know what I mean? It's, it's all legit, too. The other video, man, I was broke. I was broke in like the last couple videos I made. Like, not broke, but I didn't have a whole lot of money. But now, like, at me, you know? Uh, nah, I want to drive this. But yeah, I mean, this is my car, fool. But, anyways, yeah, I mean, I could definitely, you know, I, I want to see that. There's just. I mean, I'm grinding now, and I'm, I'm doing missions right now, trying to get my money up, so, I'm, I'm drunk. I can't drive, I'm gonna let him drive. I'm gonna rack my Mustang all up, my Shelby GT500. <laughs> well, I'm gonna text him, I'm gonna say I'm too drunk, too drunk to drive. But yeah, they need to fix the cars. Like, I'm a big car person, and all the new cars, uh, well, he's wrecking, he's not even drunk. But yeah, um, all the cars from the Southern San Andreas update, uh, the auto update, like, they all have this weird resistance thing. You can't double clutch them. If you go around a bend, you know how, like, if you're in the Centauri T23 and any other car, and you go around a bend and your RPMs go real low, like, it, it'll downshift the gear and then go, dun, 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 you know, like, the RPMs will max out. And when the RPMs max out, you'll, like, go from 40 miles an hour to 70 or 80 real quick. You know, that's because the RPMs are max and you're switching gears. Well, with the new cars, it doesn't do that. If your RPMs go real low around a turn and you downshift and it, the RPMs start, like, going real high, it'll just stay at 40 miles an hour. Like, like you know, just glitch, not glitch out, but... It's like a new thing they add. It's like a blocker to the RPM. So until you switch into the next gear, you're going to be stuck doing the same amount. Like it'll say like 40 miles an hour in your speedometer, you'll be stuck. So that, that's the worst. You know what I mean? The fact that, you know, it, it doesn't do that. So hopefully they fix the cars and make them like the rest of the cars in the game because all the cars in this new update are slower than the cars we've had. Anyways, this is Beautiful Boy Flame signing out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me uh, hear what you guys think about the update in your comments. What's it like, or about the new update. Like, what, what do you want to see and what do you think about it, etc. Alright, so, peace, guys.